Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll be breaking down the points and cost for the Gloom Spike Gits Battle Force box set. I'm on a mission to break down the costs and points for all the Age of Sigma and 40k box sets, so there's six up on the channel now to have a look at, but this video is dedicated to the Stampeding Squigger Lunch, which is the Battle Force for the Gloom Spike Gits. I'm a big fan of the Glooms by Gits, great fun models, fun army to build, paint. I never actually played them properly in Age of Sigma, but next year we're playing at my local club. So I'm hoping to get a lot more games in and really finally get to play Age of Sigma properly. So really looking forward to that. This looks like it could be a fun box set for you to build as your first entry into the Gloom Spike Gits, but also something that would be great to add to an existing collection possibly. So let's dive in and we'll start having a look at all the units, the costs in UK pounds, US dollars and euros, and then we'll have a look at the points values as well and just see exactly what we get for our money. And hopefully this video will help you decide whether or not you'd like to add this squigger lunch to your collection. Here are the models, there's going to be 23 altogether, but two of those are the massive Mangler Squigs, which is something I don't have, would like to have them, and there's going to be two in this box, so that's pretty cool. I think if you haven't got any of these units already, this is going to be an ideal one to get started with the Gloom Spike Gits. Uh, if you are collecting them already, maybe you're like me and don't have any Mangler Squigs, and so this could be a good way to get two of them and some extra units, but I think you would have the Loom Boss on Giant Squig already, because that's quite a popular model. Um, potentially you've got it so if you do that could just be a case of buying this set selling the loom boss on giant cave squig and just keeping the rest to make your army even bigger let's break down the prices of each unit and first I'm going to start with the RRP that you would pay if you bought directly from games workshop then we'll look at the combined total with an estimate of what this battle force could be priced at and then further discounts with our local friendly game stores and online retailers so first up, we've got the Loom Boss on Giant Cave Squig. That's going to be £24 in the UK. And then we've got the Mangler Squigs. Now there's going to be two of these, and they're £52.50 each. So pretty expensive. This That's what put me off. And they're not really that big. They're, I mean, they're quite big compared to the other Gloom Spike Gits, but not huge compared to other factions. Then we've got the Squig Herd. If you buy that, that's £30. You get 10 Squigs and the two Herders. A great little set. I think it's fantastic. I loved painting these. Brilliant fun. And then finally, we've got the Squig Hoppers. You can also build these as Boingrot Bounders. So you've got the two options there. So another really fun unit to add to the army. Let's take those prices and combine them for a grand total of £191. So that's going to get you all 23 of those models. For the US, you're going to be looking at $313, and for the EU, it's going to be €249. Euros. So we've got all the prices now for the full RRP, and before we have a look at the points value to see how much we get for our money, let me first say a big thanks to Firestorm Games for sponsoring the channel, helping me keep making these daily videos, and I'll put a link in the description down below where you can save up to 20% on all your hobby products for all different games and for these Battle Force box sets when they come out. Right, now let's check out the points then. So total points value is 930 points. That's not bad at all. 930 points of squigs. That's got to be awesome fun. And if we break these down into the different unit types, you're going to get the leader, the mangler squig. They're going to be behemoths, but you've got the option to have them as a loom boss riding them. So you could have one of them as a leader or two as a leader. And then you've also got your troop units in the squig herd and the boy and grot bounders. Or squig hoppers, whichever you choose to make. So 930, that's all right, isn't it? That's pretty impressive. Really nice to get close to that thousand pound mark. And I think for the price, 191 pounds RRP for almost that many points, we could do better than that. And hopefully this year, they'll be offering these Battle Force sets for around the similar price as last year. So hopefully around 125 pound. But of course, it could be a complete surprise. They could change the price. It could be way more. Let's wait and see when it's confirmed. Looking forward to finding that out. But whatever the official price is, we can certainly get some improvements on it at our friendly local game stores offering up to 20% and online retailers like Firestorm Games as well. So if we could get something like this for around £100, that's almost half the RRP. And I think for the models that are included, that's got to be a brilliant way to start collecting Gloomspike Gits or adding them to our existing armies. 
Of all the battle forces for Age of Sigmar, this one really cries out for Warcry for me. I think it would be a really good one to have. You've got tons of squigs, more than you'll need. Loads of squig hoppers, again, more than those that you'll need. And you've got that loom boss on the giant cave squig. So those three units alone, brilliant. But of course, you can't use the mangler squigs in Warcry unless you proxy them for something else. So I'm wondering... If you could proxy it for maybe a rock gut trogoth, that might be cool. Or go for a monster and, you know, use it as a dank hold trogoth and look at the stats from that and maybe just use those stats. But for that model, that could be a better way to go because you really want to get the most of these models. And so having that option could really make this quite appealing, not just for Age of Sigmar, but Warcry 2. Here's my Gloom Spike Gits army that I put together. Loads of options for Warcry. I absolutely love it. I think it's great fun. So colourful and different to anything else I've got. And so I was thinking, if I started from scratch and I got this Battle Force, what units would I add to it? So I thought we could have a look at a few now to give you some ideas. Also, I'd love to hear the units you would add to this Battle Force. What do you think would accompany it and complement it? Let me know in the comments section below. The first thing I thought of right away was the Start Collecting Gloom Spike Git set. Really good value, great to get hold of these Start Collecting sets before they get changed to the Vanguard box sets. And this gives you three of those Trogoths, which are fantastic models, some of my favourites. I think they're brilliant. You're going to get another Squig Herd. You can't have too many of those. And you'll also get another leader option as well with the Loon Boss. If you make a 20% saving on this box set and add it to the Battle Force, you've got a really nice makings of an army there. So I think that's a really good way to go. And then let's keep going with this Trogoth and Squig theme and add a Dankhold Trogoth in there. He's got to be an option. This is one I'd like to put with my army, actually get a bigger model in there. And I think this guy looks brilliant and it would really be a fun model to have. I don't know if it'd work well in Age of Sigmar. I always go with Rule of Cool first, whichever models I like the look of. I'll put them in and worry about the other stuff later, really. So that's how I mostly go. But uh, I think this would be really fun. So combining him with the Start Collecting and the Battle Force, I think you'd have tons of fun with that. I'd love to hear what you think about this Battle Force box set and the others from Age of Sigmar 2. Have you watched some of the other videos or are you waiting for another army to be covered? Let me know down below and also let me know what you think they've done here. Is it a good job? Have they put some good units together? Do you think it'll work well as a cohesive army? And what units would you add to? So yeah, it'd be really interesting to see what you think. I hope you found the video helpful and I hope it gave you a good insight into exactly what you can expect from this Battle Force box and how many points and how much it's going to cost. I really hope they keep that price to the 125 mark, potentially 130, but let's wait and see on that. But yeah, really good if we can get it for that price. I think it would be a great way to start an army. I'll be covering the rest of the Age of Sigma box sets now and also the 40k ones too so look out for those on the channel already but for now thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy the video please hit the like button subscribe for more videos like this one and don't forget to hit that notification bell too to join me here next time on tabletop skirmish games I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>